Welcome back aspiring entrepreneurs and go getters I'm DK and in this video, you are going to learn the differences between Facebook ads and Facebook marketing. So my mission on this platform is simple, is to educate you for free. I draw inspirations from thought leaders like Andrew Tate and Ivan Genji, known for their no-nonsense, high-impact teaching. So I'm here to deliver free and full courses packed with concise, effective lessons that cut through the noise. There is zero purchase for any courses and my sole purpose is to grow our community, spread wisdom and grow my social presence. And for this journey, I will need you to help me to like, comment and share. So if you find value in what I'm creating here, show some love, spread the word and let's soar to new heights together. So Facebook ads means that you have to pay in order to reach people. And in this video, you are going to learn how to do Facebook marketing, meaning you will learn how to reach people organically without needing to pay for it. Of course, this comes with some advantages and disadvantages, and I'm going to show you exactly what those are and what you need to know before starting to market with Facebook. Now, first of all, there are two main reasons why you would want to do Facebook marketing and you should check one of those two boxes. So the first reason is to build a community. So Facebook is where people go to talk to their friends, to share memories, to put up pictures of themselves. And it's a very, very personal platform that's been around for a long time. And this is amazing because that means if you can succeed in marketing on Facebook and get in contact with these people, you're going to have a more personal connection with them to build a deeper relationship. And this is perfect for building a community. So a community allows you to take all of your most dedicated customers or soon to be customers and put them in a Facebook group and build deeper and deeper relationships, giving them more and more value and turn them from a single potential customers who buy from you just once into a lifetime customers who is going to love your brand and buy from you again and again. So we are going to talk more about the power of building a community with groups, why you should do it, exactly how to do it later. But that is one of the two reasons why you should be using Facebook marketing to build a community. If you already have a community on your website or elsewhere, then don't bother building one on Facebook. But if you don't have a community yet, Facebook is the place to build it. So the second reason to do marketing on Facebook is because your target audience is on Facebook. So if you don't know who your target audience is, you can click on the video here and learn how to conduct the most effective target audience research using ChatGPT within 10 minutes. So if you have already done your market research and your target audience persona, you know that the people that you are trying to target are actually on Facebook, then it makes a lot of sense to be marketing on Facebook. Now, if you already have a community elsewhere and you know that your target audience isn't specifically on Facebook, they might be on other platforms or they might be spread out a little bit everywhere, then I would recommend that you skip marketing on Facebook. And here is why. The truth is, Facebook marketing is the most difficult platform to do organic marketing on. Almost everything they do on Facebook is to prevent you from pulling people away from their platform and reaching new followers. Pretty much the exact thing that we are trying to do as marketers. When you make a post on Facebook, it's not going to reach new people. Even for those who have liked your Facebook page specifically, your post will only reach about 2-6% to 6 of those people, which is a minuscule. So, even if you have hundreds of thousands of people, you are only going to reach a few thousand people. And because Facebook wants to keep people on Facebook for all of the reasons we have spoken about before, regarding advertising and Facebook users being the product, Facebook will prevent you from pulling people away from their platform and to your website. So if you make a Facebook post and you include a link to another website in that Facebook page, they will limit your reach even more. So that means that you can have 
hundreds of thousands of people following your page. Make a post about a blog article, a new product that you have, etc. on to your Facebook, to your followers. But it's only going to reach about maybe a few hundred. And that means that marketing on Facebook is extremely difficult and extremely limited. So unless you are looking to build a community and or to know that you have your target audience specifically on Facebook, I strongly recommend that you skip doing Facebook organic marketing altogether. But if you feel one of these two criteria in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to build an amazing dedicated community and how to severely improve your marketing by using that community. And I'm going to show you six different strategies how to improve the reach on all of your posts. So you never get stuck with that two to six percent or lower percentage to reach to your followers. I'm going to show you the best strategies to increase it to make sure that you get new followers. And I'm even going to show you strategies for reaching people who are not following you so that you can get even more followers in an even bigger community. Click here if you want to learn how to get your first customer in 2024 by conducting a 10 minutes effective target audience research. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end. Kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it. And comment any questions you have. Have a nice day ahead. Till next time.